It was really an insane decision to even attempt to do this. The invitation to go on this trip to Antarctica and really to the decision to make this, to turn this into a, a project, really didn't give me a lot of time to prepare. I had about two months. I was in a friend's hotel that he managed in an empty room they had there writing the script for like two weeks and I didn't even come home. I was just working nonstop so that I would end up with at least a script that was kind of had the trajectory and the arc of the story that would give the actors essentially a spine to improvise from while we were on the ship and in Antarctica. I wrote a four page treatment and I refined it over about four or five days. And then I went and met with the uh, casting director, A.V. Kaufman. And once A.V. You know, looked me in the eye and said, you know, can you really pull this off? And you know, I said, I really think I can, but not without you. Once she said she would do it, and once she committed to getting actors, getting behind the story, then I really felt confident that you know, this was something we could probably pull off. I mean, Olivia Thurlby, the first time she came into my house and she had read the treatment, she walked in the door and she said, I'm going to Antarctica with you. And I was like, really? I was writing the script slightly older than her, really more for a couple that was a little bit more further on in their marriage. And really it was because of her that I moved it much more towards an early, early marriage. And then when Vincent Carthizer decided he wanted to, uh, to play the role of Peter, um, I called Olivia and I said, what do you think of Vincent Carthizer? And she said, he's perfect. I had very strong instincts about the music from really early on. I perhaps knew more about the music than I did about the story. I mean, I'd heard Garth perform quite a bit and I felt like what he was doing was integral to the kind of story and the kind of feeling I wanted to have the film to have. My hands were freezing cold, but it was probably my favorite place I've ever played. And it was just amazing to see him there and he composed just the most miraculous, beautiful pieces. And he often, you know, set the tone for the way we were working when we needed him there. We set him up on the bow of the ship. I got everyone, we made an announcement that he was gonna be performing. It was a beautiful day. And Garth is playing these unbelievable sounds that emulate the songs of whales. Whales started popping up on either side of the ship. And it was really one of these eerie, magical days where these say whales started popping up all over. There was like one, two, four, five. And everyone was just blown away by the whole notion. The truth is we all had a really odd experience. We were creating a piece of fiction while we were having this epic journey. The film feels very, very real. <laughs>